totally new experience in relation to your lifestyle beforehand and what, where you are now. Um, the whole election was a just turmoil to a certain degree. It was just go, go, go. And um, we knew that we had potentially to get very, to get a seat very, very, very close to it. Um, and from there, there on in, once you got elected, it's just, it's a strange place, a very strange place to work in and to call your workplace, you know. Well, they definitely see it as being different, you know. Um, the issue that um, Barrett is making about our clothes, about um, our attitude and things like that, you know. Um, that you can't wear jeans, you're not to be wearing wearing jackets and shorts and all that and um, the way we view it in the United Left Alliance is that we're representing ordinary people. Ordinary people dress well, they dress, they're, they're clean, they're well washed, well groomed and um, but uh, the idea that you have to have a suit to be a politician um, I think is a quite a deliberate ploy and always has been of sort of really kowtowing to the establishment you know this thing about power suits and we're, we're, we're above uh, the ordinary person and that. I, I didn't know what to expect <laughs> um, to go, go into it because um, all these protocols and how you do business and the talk time and how structured it is, um, was, is was very strange to me. Um, even on the council, it was much more of an interaction, debate, you know, you'd, have comments coming across the floor to you and you'd have to respond to them and it was much more and I thought that was bad <laughs> um, but in the dial it's much more structured, it's much more prepared. I, I think the one thing that we do as a group in the United Left Alliance is manage to develop a political alternative over the, the time that we're in there um, and use the, the dial or utilise the dial as a voice for, for that alternative. Um, which I really truly believe there's a huge mood for that, for something different to what we're going through at the moment, not the same old party politics. Because um, the biggest fear I would have now is that people get fed up with Fine Gael and Labour, and then you see some of the majors and maybe Fianna Fáil again. Um, I think that's a huge danger. It's a tweedledum, tweedledee politics we've had for the last, um, <laughs> forever. Like. I, I, I think it did, and it was totally out of the blue. It was absolutely totally out of the blue. It was just um, we'd been up, we'd planned a protest there at the Doyle Gates, uh, in relation to the universal social charge. It was the last Friday of the January, um, and many people were seeing that their pay packets were getting hit by you know being cut by a large chunk, and it was to highlight that issue and to see Bertie Heron coming out on his last day in office, you know, um, talking about the Bertie Ball being his biggest regret and everything. It was just really. I just really got so annoyed and I remember saying to the lads beside me, you can't let him just get away with that, just, you know, just come out here and just have this arrogance and that, you know, so they were saying, yeah, yeah, so I just said, I hate that, just got annoyed and so red and went over, but it did have a big impact, I think, in, in relation to the election. No, no, I didn't regret it, no. It was very strange because I just went up to him, challenged him, um, walked away, um, then the copper, was, having a bit of a go at me and then whatever but um, I went home then uh, after that and uh, I think I had a day off that day, day's leave I think um, and all of a sudden I was getting phone calls about Joe Duffy and I was saying what the hell's going on here you know so I wasn't expecting what happened to happen as such you know but I don't, I don't regret it no um, he should have been challenged a long time ago and I think it actually gave a lot of people um, a bit of Get up and go about it, I believe with during the general election out in his area because did you see people were challenging him at the doorstep and everything whereas they wouldn't have done so before which was very good. Yeah people that probably don't know the work that I would have done around the area and that and um, the campaigns that we involved in that's probably what they would most know me as uh, you know what, what I did that day and um, I just I believe Fianna Fáil are um, a peculiar animal to a certain degree. Um, they just take that sort of thing in their stride. They, they, they are where they are at the moment. They are pretending to be in opposition, pretending to be the you know, the, the knights of shining armour for the, for the ordinary man and woman. Um, 
and uh, they really believe it. Um, and I think that those are the things they don't take too much, um, they don't put too much detail onto it, you know. Um, but they've never approached me on it, no. The work in the, the actual work in the doll can be quite, um, that's difficult to put a word on it. The day can be very long, you can be there from say 10 till 11 o'clock at night um, and you have to be there for the vote at, the, at 11 o'clock say for example and in between that you're trying to do work and um, you might be only speaking once that day. So it's a very peculiar type of environment um, where I where, where I love really working is at the cold face in the community and the campaigns and stuff like that, that's really where where I find um, I get great satisfaction out of. Um, yeah, great to me that um, the Labour Party went in to the election saying they're going to defend people on social welfare, the poor, the elderly, etc. And it's not happening. That really, really grates me to see Labour sitting over there on that side of the house with Fianna Gael. Um, uh, and then for to see the TDs defending that position quite vociferously, you know, and um, but I mean that's their decision. That's the decision they've made as a political party. I would have been a member of the Labour Party um, at one point in time. I was actually expelled from the Labour Party for being in the militant at the time. Just uh, power to the people. <laughs>